Welcome to episode 44 of Daily Flip. Thanks so much for watching today. I wanna to show you what I've been doing today and answer two questions that came in. One came in from Fabian on YouTube, the other from username or screen name MPH. Uh, we're gonna answer those here in a moment. Just gonna show you what I've been up to today. Um, one thing has been, if you'll see there's a hole there in the front line. Yesterday I mentioned I had a Mercury Montego that was selling today. It did sell. I also mentioned yesterday that I thought I was gonna be selling the Envoy, as you can see it's still there, so I did not sell that. So instead of it being a $4,000 profit day, which I thought it might be, it's only a $2,000 profit day, which isn't horrible. So if you wanna see more info on the Montego, I actually made a video on YouTube. I was bidding at the auction live. I'm gonna to try to put a link below to that video so you can see what I actually paid for it because I see a lot of people on Facebook and YouTube making videos about car flipping and they tell you how much they're making on their cars and you kinda of wonder, are they telling the truth? This guy doesn't sound like he knows what he's talking about. This is one you can actually watch me buy it at the auction. You can see what I paid for it, which is $1,400 plus a buyer's fee. It was roughly $1,500 invested in the car. I sold it today for $3,500. You know, 35 minus 15, that's $2,000 profit. So that, if you wanna see more on that, you can scroll below. It's me at the auction one day bidding on that car. I think the video cuts out at some point in that video, but it's all the info's there. Um, this is one we just put tires on today. Looks like we put it a little too far up in the bushes, but I had a question that came from MPH about my thoughts on using brand name parts. So do I like to pay extra for the Goodyear or the Michelin to be able to sell that as a selling point? This is a, uh, what is it? Achilles is the brand of this tire. You can see it's brand new. This is an Achilles Desert Hawk HT tire. Now for me, the answer to that is no, I don't. I usually don't go name brand because when someone walks into a car that I'm selling, usually if you look at all these cars, they're gonna be cars that aren't terribly expensive cars. I think the most expensive car on my front line right now is this one, actually. I have two that are priced at 79. Three, actually, I've got this. 2010 uh, Equinox, I have the Escape and the Jeep Patriot, those are also priced at 7,900. That's the most expensive car on my lot. If I walk up to someone on this car, or for example, maybe this GMC Envoy, it does not have new tires, but it has decent tires. But if I walk up and say, this car is 3950 and it's got a brand new set of tires, they're not concerned if this is an Achilles or a fill-in-the-blank off-brand or if it's a Goodyear or a Michelin. So that's just my mentality on that. I guess some people would like to hear the name brand Michelin or Goodyear. Um, I don't usually use name brand brake pads. Um, I don't, you know, for me, once it's on there, you know, no one can see the brake pads. I'm buying good quality parts but I'm not gonna buy the AC Delco or the fill in the blank name brand. I'm gonna use good quality stuff, but for me, I've not seen a correlation to buying the name brand and selling that as a selling point on the car. If you have, I'd love to hear, you know, if that's worked for you, for me it hasn't. If, if I put new brakes or something, I'm gonna mention that um, as a selling point, but I'm not gonna buy the name brand stuff. For me, just saying new tires has been good enough. I, most of them I don't get new tires. Like for example, this Impala, I, it has good tires on it. They're Michelins, but they're the ones that it came with. They have probably 75% tread left. I'm trying to find an example of one that doesn't have amazing tires because that for me is a negotiation on the back end. I'm going to, like this one, these tires are decent, but they're not amazing. Like they're past inspection, they'll make them through the summer. Uh, but if someone comes in and I'm asking $6,900 for this vehicle, and they say, oh man, I really need some tires. You're asking, six, I said 69, 70. I'm sorry, I am asking 69. All three of these are 69, not 79. Uh, numbers are running together. So I'm asking 6,900 and they say, oh man, it really needs tires. I have one of two options. I can try to get past that or I can offer to come off the price because of the tires. I guess the third option would be I could offer to put tires on it. Being I have a tire machine now, those are probably $50 tires. There's $200. If I offer to put the tires on there, they assume that that's a five or $600 expense. So they assume they have got five or $600 back. And so it only costs me 200. Definitely possibility negotiation wise, but it's not necessarily something I do every time because most of the cars I sell with the tires that are on them, if they're good enough. Now you can contrast that with somewhere like CarMax. If I understand it correctly, every single vehicle that comes in, the tires are replaced automatically. They have a lot more buying power than me. I'm sure they get tires a little bit cheaper, but for me, that's not something I do. I'm gonna play it by ear when the person comes and looks at it. If I have several people mention that a car, you know, the tires aren't great, 
maybe I'll address that, but I'm always gonna have a safe tire up there. I'm always gonna have a tire that has a good, you know, a decent amount of tread that I'll pass inspection, but I'm not gonna go and buy tires for every single one. And I definitely don't do name brand tires because a new tire has been good enough to sell things in the past for me. Also had a question from Fabian about financing. How do I arrange financing for people? It isn't something that I do a ton of, and that's mainly because I don't have enough time to sit at my desk and fill out forms like this every single day. This is the uh, form we actually give out when people come in to finance a car, or if they're interested in financing a car, um, they'd come in, they'd put their basic info, name, address, social, date of birth, employment information. This is something I made in Google Docs or Google Sheets or something. So this is just something I made, it's something official. But we take this, we fax it to our lender. We have a, uh, really just one lender we deal with right now. It's a local lender up the road, a bank called Lindmark. Um, you know, they get the application in. If they can do something, they call me back, they let me know what the person's payment is, they let me know what you know, the numbers will be based on the numbers I gave them or if they can finance that amount. At the bottom is a place for the vehicle price, down payment, and the financed amount. If they can hit that, they're gonna say, great, send them over. If not, they're gonna say, hey, you said they had a thousand, we're gonna need 1,500. So the Envoy actually, to, well, I haven't even mentioned it. I got a call today uh, in the morning that said, sorry, we're not gonna be able to buy the Envoy. Our insurance rates were higher than we thought. This girl just got her driver's license and her insurance is going to be like a $500 deposit to place insurance on the car because it had to be full coverage because there was going to be a lien on it. They called back right before I actually recorded this episode. I uh, got a call, answered it. They said, hey, you still have the vehicle? I said, sure. They said, we're going to be by tomorrow between 9.15 and 9.45 and we're going to talk about it. So that's a positive call. They're going to come back. Hopefully they've got something arranged on the insurance. If so, Assuming they have the right document, they were waiting on a pay stub, I think. As long as they have the pay stub they were missing yesterday and the insurance taken care of, hopefully this is a sale and we'll have another $2,000 profit. Otherwise, we just actually, our equipment's here. We just finished uh, shooting episode eight of uh, The Car Flip Show. The podcast is gonna launch Friday. Uh, actually, it's on negotiation, so if you're interested in how I negotiate, you can check that out. Otherwise, we've got a little bit further on our engine here. Probably driving my mechanic crazy because he just wants to finish this thing straight through. We've had other little things that we've had to take care of along the way. We put in a, uh, some more tires on today on a HHR. Um, we had a, an exhaust rattle we had to fix on that Envoy. Something else, we put a wheel bearing. Actually, that I mentioned in yesterday's um, daily flip, we put that wheel bearing uh, on the Equinox that got two tires as well, and uh, he's been hustling today. So that did fix our roar in the front of the Equinox, and it's riding a lot better with the tires for sure. So that's pretty much been my day, other than also taking a trip over to Mako. We dropped off a Chevy Avalanche that we got back. So I initially thought it was gonna cost me $400 to get the bodywork done on this. It had several dents all the way around it. My body guy came and said, yeah, sure, $400, no problem. He called me back the next day and said, hey, actually, I can't do it for 400 It's gonna be 650 That was kind of a downer. So I actually found a new body guy that I'm experimenting with to see if he's gonna do good work. He brought the Avalanche back today. It looks really good, actually. It looks like he did really good work, and he only charged me 500 so that's $150 that I saved, assuming it comes out well at Mako. Mako charges $298 to paint the entire vehicle. So we're gonna have 500 plus the 298, that'll be 798 for a full paint job. This is on an Avalanche, a 2003. It only has 80,000 miles, so hopefully it'll be a good seller. Um, with a low mileage, it shouldn't take long to get rid of, especially being in a pickup truck. But that's all for today's episode. I'll see you tomorrow in episode number 45. And if you have any questions that I can answer tomorrow, post them below and I'll get to them.